the war in Ukraine has once again brought to light the use of drones in warfare for both attack and reconnaissance missions. Drones have been extensively utilized by Ukraine to monitor the movements of Russian troops, gather intelligence about them, and engage in infantry and artillery combat. Specifically, the Spy Ghost Loitering Munition, developed by the US for Ukraine, has been used by their military to target the Russians. Why Indian Army Need UAVs When it comes to a combat mission, a combat drone's payload and precision are essential for ensuring that the drone reaches the target and has the desired impact. Drones are too tiny and lack a heat signature for the majority of radar systems. They are more affordable than combat jets. For instance, a Predator costs between $3 million, whereas an F-35A costs about $160 million. UAVs protect pilots from losing their priceless lives by having them operated remotely. Another UAV may be dispatched to take its place if one crashes. That is in contrast to the difficult and expensive duty of saving fallen pilots. Due to significant limits and technological limitations in its military sector, as well as chronic delays, India was forced to acquire off-the-shelf models from Israel, with the Indian Army receiving UAVs, first in the 1990s, followed by the Navy and Air Force. Both tactical searcher, UAVs, and herons were critical in search and rescue operations, following the 9.1 magnitude Indian Ocean earthquake and ensuing tsunami, which killed over 200,000 people. From locating survivors near the Andaman and Nicobar Islands to supplying rescuers with real-time video footage that speed up the emergency response. UAV technology was critical. Indeed, it is widely assumed that the Heron UAV's successful performance during this period spurred India's decision to acquire additional Heron 1 UAVs from Israel. UAVs are fantastic for reconnaissance. Most fighter planes would require refueling after 3-4 hours, but the Predator, for example, can operate for more than 30 hours. Furthermore, flying non-stop for more than 10 hours in such a small environment is not optimal for pilots. Switchovers between remote UAV pilots are available, providing them with much needed rest. How India cranking up its drone fleet? The killing of Al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri by Hellfire missiles launched from MQ-9 Predators has once again made this US flying machine the center of military attention. India is in advanced stage talks with the US to purchase 30 MQ-9B Predator armed drones for more than $3 billion to help bolster its monitoring apparatus along the border with China and in the Indian Ocean area. The Indian Navy has been flying two unarmed MQ-9 BC Guardian drones, leased from the United States. According to General Atomics, the drone can fly at altitudes of over 40,000 feet, providing Indian military surveillance capability in high-altitude Himalayan border areas. The Predator also has the maximum endurance of 40 hours, making it useful for long-hour surveillance. India is becoming self-sufficient in terms of drones. While India has long relied on nations such as Israel for its drones, such reliance is gradually giving way to indigenous technology. Tapas BH-201, created by Bengaluru's aeronautical development establishment, has recently achieved an altitude of 28,000 feet and an endurance of 18 hours. Tapas is mostly used for surveillance, but it can also carry weapons. It is pre-designed to carry certain weapons and can be transformed into an armed platform, says the manufacturer. Tapas features a variety of sensors that allow it to do day and night sorties, as well as autonomous takeoff and landing. It is solely intended for small flights and has a payload capacity of 150 kg to 350 kg. India's own stealth drone. Recently, India's secretive, unmanned combat aerial vehicle program, which is developing a technology demonstrator known as the Stealth Wing Flying Testbed, or SWIFT, attained a significant milestone. The program successfully completed its first flying test at Karnataka's aeronautical test range. The aircraft performed flawlessly in completely autonomous mode, including takeoff, waypoint navigation, and a smooth touchdown. 
According to the Defense Research and Development Organization, this flight marks a key milestone in terms of demonstrating vital technologies toward the development of future unmanned aircraft and is a significant step towards self-reliance in such strategic defense technology. Because the SWIFT is a scaled-down version of India's GATAC UAV, its performance and findings will determine the latter's development trajectory. It will also have an impact on the large-scale fifth-generation stealth advanced medium combat aircraft which will have several overlapping and conventional stealth characteristics. The acquisition of stealth aircraft capabilities by India will be terrible news for one of its regional competitors, China, and thus good news for China's arch-rival, the United States, which is strengthening security relations with New Delhi. India's Swarm Drone Swarm drones are groups of autonomous networked, tiny unmanned aircraft systems that work together to achieve shared goals. They can be remotely commanded or fly independently using onboard processes. Artificial intelligence applied to UAVs offers a wide range of military applications. It allows the drone swarm to autonomously locate and attack hostile defenses. It also allows them to look for hostile submarines in the seas by adding infrared sensors. Using a thermographic camera to detect the infrared radiation emitted by submarines on the surface. These formations may also conduct search and rescue missions over vast areas. They can also help rescue crews by providing a real-time map of the fire's progression. This data is collected from a variety of sources, including cameras and temperature sensors. All of this is because of the amount of drones that may fly at the same time and be controlled as if they were one. As a result, they would be able to occupy a bigger region, which is one of the most significant advantages of this technology. The Defense Research and Development Organization has demonstrated an indigenous capability to carry out offensive operations in enemy territory using a swarm of drones working in various formations to detect, track and destroy targets. Surround and hit targets, with the loitering bombs being designed to address a critical military demand while keeping soldiers safe. For the first time, the Indian military showed off a swarm of 75 drones, attacking a range of simulated targets in explosive kamikaze strikes during a live display for India's Army Day last year. The 75 drone swarm shows the current state of the art, but India's ambition is a 1,000 drone swarm. Swarms of tiny drones have the ability to overwhelm air defenses, and because they are so inexpensive, they can be deployed in significantly higher numbers than existing systems. While mass drones in dazzling light shows are all controlled centrally in a genuine swarm, each drone flies independently, adhering to a basic set of rules to preserve formation and avoid collisions with flocking bird algorithms. A swarm of a thousand drones may strike a large number of targets. India's Loyal Wingman Program The indigenous combat air teaming system, CATS, being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, in collaboration with the commercial sector, was presented at Aero India 2021, and the faithful Wingman program will take to the skies for the first time in 2024. The air teaming system comprises of a mothership, manned fighter plane, and a swarm of low-cost drones equipped with payloads, sensors, and warfare capabilities. Smaller drones follow their motherships and can be employed as decoys to help, detect and defeat hostile air defenses or to divert assaults away from human fighter planes. The CATS Warrior is a low-cost, twin-engine, teaming drone designed to work with and support existing manned Indian Air Force fighter planes such as the Tejas and Rafael. The devoted wingman will be capable of high-potential targets, surveillance, reconnaissance and aerial and ground-based attacks. It may be operated from land, sea, or motherships, and has a fighting radius of 350 kilometers. The drone is now being tested in a wind tunnel, 